Hey guys, welcome to Vesna TV DIY. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's episode, I'm transforming this ugly, ugly trash table. So my neighbor was throwing this table out and we just happened to be taking garbage out at the same time. And when I saw it, I asked him, hey, are you putting that in the garbage? Do you think I could take it? And he's like, sure, go ahead. I, he was trying to re redo it, but I guess he couldn't. So I took it and I knew that I could give it some new life. Now, he did wind up taking off the little handles and all that stuff, so I just still have to, I had to go back to his house and get it, because he didn't want to give it to me until he knew that I could refinish it, just in case I was going to throw it out. He didn't want those going in the garbage. So, here it is. I originally thought I might stain it. However, it is leathered at the top, so it's kind of hard to stain it. And I couldn't really take all of the stuff off of it by sanding it. So I've decided to prime it first and then paint it with chalk paint and do my kind of style where I like to make it look like it's kind of wood, kind of dark brown and aged, but not. So I start off with primer and it was just a paint primer I had on hand, nothing spectacular. I thought about using the bin primer, the shellac primer, because that works really well as well. However, it is really, really cold out, so I can't do this outside, and I can't really have windows open because it's like extreme cold warnings, cold outside. So I'm just doing it with this way because this has kind of very low VOC, so even if I crack it just a little bit my window, it's okay. But with the shellac, it's really, really stinky, so you really want to do it in a well-ventilated area, like almost outside or in your garage. So I'm starting off with just scruffing it up a little bit more, just so that everything sticks a little bit better. So I just do one layer of the primer and I let it dry kind of for a few hours. It is shinier than my chalk paint is, and but that's okay. And then I'm going to be using my Annie Sloan chalk paint and cocoa. If you watched my previous video, I did the same thing with that video so well. again I'm just doing one coat of this uh, like really lightly and then I'll do another coat just to cover it because the underneath is white if I, if I had left it brown I would have I wouldn't have had to do another coat but because I am I had painted it white I didn't want the white showing through and I am using the Annie Sloan chalk paint brush and when you are applying any of the chalk paint, it is okay to just do all sorts of random strokes as it everything will be covered when once you apply the wax and it'll look really uniform and really nice. So after I applied the second coat, I let it dry again. And what the great thing about chalk paint is it dries pretty fast. So I did give this a few hours just so that I wouldn't take off the glaze, uh, take off the paint with the glaze, because sometimes that does happen. You just have to be gentle. You're supposed to apply the clear wax and then apply the glaze or the dark wax. But I wanted the dark wax to really soak into the paint. So I was doing it before. So I'm doing the glaze before. So just when you're rubbing it on, I'm using the Rust-Oleum Decorative Glaze in Java because I did run out of the antique wax from Annie Sloan. And I really like the way this works too. So when I'm applying this, I'm just using a rag and I am just putting it generously all over the table and then I'm spreading it. And then you'll see me go with a paper towel or you could probably a cloth is better, but this is what I had on hand. So I just kind of grabbed it and <clears throat> I'm going to just wipe it all off. Not all of it off, but kind of wipe off the excess. So as you can see, I did, there's a few spots where I did wind up taking it off. So I went back and put the paint back on and then I let it dry and I put the glaze back on. You just might have to touch it up if you do it a little bit too roughly. So once it all dried and I applied a little bit of the glaze, I'm going to add this black Annie Sloan black wax. I'm sorry I didn't show the can but it is the Annie Sloan black wax and I am using just a wax brush to apply this and again I am putting it generously all over the table everywhere and then I'm going to use a cloth like a cotton cloth to wipe off the excess again you want to be careful because even with a brush if you push too hard you'll paint take some of the paint off this is until you protect it once you protect it then it's all good but until then it's a little bit finicky. So again, just be liberal with it and add as much 
as you want to get to, to achieve the look that you want. So like I'm not doing it super, super light, but I am pre I am not like I'm not like being like when I apply the clear wax, I it's like a wax on wax off type of thing. And I buff it really nicely. But when I put when I'm doing this layer, I do it really, really gently. Maybe like a little bit of push, but not too, too much. And basically, this is trial and error. You just keep on doing it until you get the look that you're going for. So then even here, you can see I'm going back and kind of fixing up the spots where some of the paint came off and where I'm not liking the way it looks. And again, this is something that you may have to do or you might not. It's just, it just depends. But I did. So I just added some of the paint back on and then I'll go back and redo the wax. Now I flip the table over and I'm using this Country Gray from Rust-Oleum and it's also a chalked paint and I am painting the bottom of the table as well as the sides. I did have to clean off the table first. It doesn't look like I cleaned it off but I did <laughs> and it was pretty dusty so just clean off as much as you can just so that to get the dust and whatever off and just do one or two layers depending on the coverage that you want. I am going over top of it with the black wax again. So I'm not, I'm doing a nice coverage, making sure none of it, none of the brown is showing through, but I'm not too, too concerned about like a heavy coverage. So again, it's up to you. And I didn't scruff this bottom part up at all. If you do, your paint might even stick better, but it works fine even if you didn't. That's the beauty of chalk paint. You don't have to do the prep work beforehand. So once your paint is nice and dry, then you wanna apply the wax. So again, I am using that Annie Sloan black wax, and I'm using this brush. So now I'm showing you because I didn't show you previously, but just so that way you can see what I am using here. and. Again, you just apply a liberal amount of the wax and then you wipe it off, wipe the excess off. So if you haven't gotten this from my channel from watching it before, I absolutely, absolutely love chalk painting stuff and painting furniture and painting my fireplace and all the other things. I love to make them really I want to make them new by aging them is it's really funny so I buy all of my furniture used or I pick it up for free or whatever most of it is solid wood most of it is probably was expensive at the time that we purchased it I have handmade things I have things from the 1920s now some things I haven't touched and some things I won't paint most things I will especially if they've been damaged then I got to fix them up so for example my dining room set I haven't touched it's from the 1920s the table I will not do anything with it's and it's got a nice stain but the buffet has a lot of water stains on it so I'll have to do something with it but I'm not doing anything until I decorate my formal living room which right now is being used as a playroom so I absolutely love doing this I love getting you can get really nice quality high-end furniture that's you know maybe a little bit dinged up or whatever for next to nothing and you give it new life saves it from the landfill and you have good quality furniture that will last a lifetime in your house and the great thing with paint is if you get sick of the color you can repaint it and have have it look like a new piece all over again so I love, love, love chalk painting. This video is not sponsored or anything by anybody. I've just been using, I've been using, well, the Annie Sloan paint for probably a good, oof, I want to say like 11 years now, 11, 12 years. And um, the Rust-Oleum I just kind of started using in the last two, two years. But I love them both. And it does get a little bit pricey when you do this. But again, it would be cheaper than buying these things at the original cost. So anyway, once you get the look that you're going for, then that's it. I'm going to have to go bat, back to add the handles and the little foot things. And I'll show you what those look like in the next clip. And that's it. So I attached the feet and the handles on and I love the way it looks. I think it turned out really nice. It'll make a really nice table in my living room if that's why I decide to use it. I haven't decided yet but I absolutely love it. And I did not paint these details, these feet or the handles. I left them as is because I thought they would add a nice touch to the table. 
Again, I'm in love with this piece. Let me know what you guys think. I think it looks really high end. And if you've gone on Wayfair or anywhere like that and you've looked for kind of antique tables, they're going for, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Looks great. Here it is all staged. Please let me know what you think in the comments below if you're in love with this as much as I am. Thank you so much for watching and see you next Sunday at 4. Have a great day and stay safe.